We have a few fairly obvious fake leaks regarding this Nintendo Direct that I thought it would be fun to read through just to see what people are saying, but also today I wanted to discuss whether or not this Nintendo Direct is being overhyped by people like me, other YouTubers, and the Nintendo community as a whole, because I've gotten a lot of comments being like, yeah, guys, don't expect too much. It's the final Direct of the Switch generation. Presumably, Nintendo is only going to have like one or two games. Don't get your hopes up. And today, I wanted to discuss that as well as these fake leaks. Let's get into it. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Games. I have to say, hype for this Nintendo Direct is definitely starting to get to me. I'm recording this after the Xbox Showcase, which was a pretty good showcase for Xbox, I would say, by Xbox standards. Doom of the Dark Ages looks absolutely phenomenal. I cannot wait for that game. But now that we've had Summer Games Fest, now that we've had the Xbox Showcase, all eyes are on Nintendo, and for a lot of people, all eyes are on Nintendo to kind of save the summer announcement season. Even though Xbox had a really good showcase, in my opinion, I still have seen a lot of that sentiment from people that it's like, well, I still just want to see what Nintendo has to offer us this year. So I would say hype is at an all-time high for this Nintendo Direct, especially with how long we've had to wait. I mean, the last regular Direct was in September, and the last first-party Nintendo announcements of any real consequence was, I mean, if you want to count this Endless Ocean Luminous, but beyond that, it would have been Thousand Year Door and, what, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, right? So, it has been a long time since we had some meaty, juicy Nintendo game announcements to really chew on, and I, for one, could not be more excited to actually get those announcements in this upcoming Direct. But before we talk about whether or not this whole thing is actually overhyped, I do want to talk about some of the odd things surrounding it. First of all, there's two leaks I want to look at just because I think they're funny, but also the lack of information going into this Direct. You know, there's been a lot of speculation about when this Direct will actually air. Some people think it's going to be this week, so I'm posting this on Monday. Some people think it's going to be on the 12th, on Wednesday. I personally think it will be the following week because we haven't seen any major leaks from any of the notable leakers. Now, it is possible that a lot of these Nintendo leakers like Midori and Puro and Nate the Hate, like maybe they're kind of laying low. There was that whole thing recently with Google doing that investigation, um, and apparently that was how a direct several years ago leaked or something. So maybe the leakers are just trying to lay low. Maybe that's why we haven't heard anything from Puro. But I'm going to remain a little pessimistic and say I think the direct will be next week either on the 18th or the 20th. The 19th is a federal holiday here in the U.S., so I would say 18th or 20th. That's my kind of pessimistic outlook. I don't think it'd be the week after that, but I would love if it is this week because I am actually busy on the 20th, so that would be really annoying <laughs> if it happens on uh, June 20th. So yeah, the lack of information from insiders is interesting, but also kind of refreshing. I made a video last week kind of complaining about how many leaks and rumors we've had recently and how quick people are to jump onto them. So go check out that video. It is kind of nice right now, at least at this moment, not having really anything known about this Nintendo Direct other than presumably that Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D or the Dragon Quest Urge Trilogy will be there. Other than that, we don't really know anything, but let's take a quick peek at these two fake leaks. I, I quote tweeted one of them and it did pretty well on Twitter for, for my standards. I have a pretty small Twitter account. Out. But um, there was this post from 4chan that was going around, and we already know it's fake. Like, 100% it is fake, because in it, it mentions Banjo Redoey and how it would be announced at the Xbox Showcase. Obviously, that didn't happen. But some other things on this cold open with Metroid Prime 4 trailer coming in 2025, but then it ends on Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yeah, I think that would definitely be swapped. But more funnier than that... There's like seven Zelda games in this uh, fake direct wish list leak, whatever you want to call it. So they say here that Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are coming to Switch $50 each. Wind Waker in August, Twilight Princess in November. Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D are getting HD ports in a single $60 pack coming in July. And then The Legend of Zelda Oracles, also by Grezzo, full remake of Ages and Seasons coming later this year. And then another thing here, Four Swords coming to Switch Online. That's so much Zelda. I don't know. Listen, I respect, like, hey, you're going to make a fake Nintendo Direct leak. You want to be hyped up. But come on. That's too much Zelda. I don't know. I just thought that was very funny. But they also have some of the supposed script for the Nintendo Direct where they say after Metroid Prime 4 cold opens, Shinya Takahashi bows and welcomes you to the Direct and says, what you just saw is the first look at Metroid Prime 4, which we are launching as a cross-gen title with the Nintendo Switch successor. We already know for a fact there will be no Switch 2 in this Direct. They've literally said that. I guess it's possible they tease or hint at something maybe and reference it, but... 
I don't know. This one was very funny. And then another one popped up today from Reddit. And this one's a little bit more believable. Starting off with Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War coming out in August. Definitely not going to be titled that, but that's fine. With some headlines including GTA 5 Premium Edition, which, to be honest, that, like, that's not going to happen. It's definitely too late. That would, like, kind of fit, right? Rocks are very late to doing things, it feels like. GTA 5 is like the third party game that is just missing from the Switch library. I still don't understand why that game never came over. My only assumption or guess I can make is that they didn't want to have to deal with updating it on the Switch while updating the PS4 and Xbox One versions and PC, of course. I think maybe they just figured it wasn't worth it. I'm sure it would have been, though, considering the Switch has sold so many units. That would have been probably another, what, 30 million copies they could have sold of that game had they gotten it out back in, like, 2018. But I digress. SteamWorld Heist 2, Mario Party, Multiverse Mania. That's kind of interesting. A little multiversal spin on a Mario Party. But then the same thing here. A bunch of Zelda games in one Nintendo Direct. I don't know if people realize they're not they're not gonna do this but the legend of zelda crown of destiny i would presume that this would be a 2d zelda game maybe you play as zelda considering the crown is in the title launching november 21st and then wind waker hd and twilight princess hd launching with a vague 2025 release date a few other notable ones here mass effect legendary edition october 24th that's one that maybe could make sense to come over at this point in time of course deca police coming in 2025 fantasy life coming october 10th dragon quest 3 hd 2d remake coming out on november 14th luigi's mansion 2 hd with a shadow drop for the first game after the presentation i feel like that that thought or that hope has definitely picked up traction recently that they would port or release a shadow drop version of luigi's mansion one on the eShop right after this upcoming Nintendo Direct. I've actually given up hope on that. I think it makes more sense for them to sell it at full price, give it its own remaster or remake next year or something, but I would love to see it. Luigi's Mansion, of course, is my favorite game. Some other final headlines here. F-Zero GX Remastered, Professor Layton in the New World of Steam, Jurassic World Evolution, and then finally Prime 2 and 3 releasing on July 25th with Prime 4 coming out on October 10th. So, we're getting to that point where, like, just so many fake leaks are coming out, and they're obviously fake. Directs don't leak like this. There was that one time in 2015 where someone's, like, folders leaked, which is how we found out that SNES games were coming to the new 3DS. But that was when Directs really weren't that exciting, so uh, wasn't that big of a deal, in all honesty. Directs don't leak like this. We don't get lists like this. Also, this isn't enough games, honestly. Directs usually show, like, 30 or 40 games, I feel like. This has, like... 15. I don't know. I guess maybe it's enough. It doesn't, I don't know. It just doesn't feel meaty enough, at least in terms of the random BS that no one really cares about. Like a lot of the farming games, this is all pretty much like mainstream, like you're excited for this game. But regardless, fake leaks, I like rating them. Obviously, I'm not trying to spin this as a real thing, like some other people might or something, right? But I just think it's fun to read in and to kind of see what people are saying. Like I did on uh, last Friday, I posted a video going over all of your guys' Nintendo Direct predictions. Go check out that. I love doing stuff like that. Just reading what people's like perfect Nintendo Direct would be, all the bullet points, how they would format it, that kind of stuff. I think there's a lot of fun to be had there. But to the main topic of the video, is this Nintendo Direct being overhyped? In general, I feel like hype for this Direct is very high compared to normal. I feel like maybe you can say that for every Nintendo Direct, though. But this one in particular, right, like, there's obviously some pessimism because we know it's likely the final Switch 1 Focus Direct. We know we're waiting for that Switch 2 reveal. But at the same time, because it's been so long since the last general, a lot of people are really looking to this Nintendo Direct to have some big announcements because we have almost nothing announced from Nintendo for the rest of the year. And... I don't know about you guys, but I always kind of have an issue with, like, people saying, don't overhype this, like, 100%, like, oh, it's your fault if you get disappointed. Oh, the companies don't owe you anything. They quite literally do. If they want to sell us products and make money this year, they quite literally owe us good products to buy, um, if that makes sense. So, in some ways, I think that people should be hyped up for almost every showcase, just going into it knowing, like, hey, if it's not for you, if it's a disappointing showcase, don't go on Twitter ranting about it, right? Like, we're adults here. We don't have to throw a baby hissy fit over a showcase not being exciting. But I feel like as the customers, we almost have every right to be hyped up and excited for showcases like this because that's literally the point. The point is that they're going to hype us up and show us really cool stuff. And then, like I said, yeah, don't get disappointed or, you know, too let down if it isn't exactly to your liking. But... That's kind of the point is being overhyped, just knowing like, yeah, 
it could end up being disappointing. I don't know. I always kind of find it weird when people say, temper your expectations. It's like, that's, no, that's that's literally the point is like getting hyped up and excited for showcases like this. Now, I've said in past videos that I expect four to five first party games in this Nintendo Direct. I got a lot of comments on last week's video saying that that's way too many that people think there will only be one or two. It's going to be a very light Nintendo Direct. I saw one comment that was like, I think it's going to be more like a partner showcase with like Metroid Prime 4 and that's it. I guarantee you there will be at least three new first party announcements with Metroid Prime 4. And at this point, Metroid Prime 4 is basically a new announcement because there is no reason for them to have released so many games in the first half of the year, even if it was slow by new game standards, Princess Peach Showtime and Endless Ocean Luminous being the only truly new game so far, we are at like six or seven games so far just for the first six months of the year. The holiday period is when games sell the best, especially for Nintendo. If they didn't have more than, let's say, four or five games to release later this year, they would have moved some of those release dates around. I'm not saying those four or five games are going to be, you know, all bangers. I'm expecting more ports and more remasters, and let's say one or two really exciting, truly new games, but I don't think I'm that off base with saying that there will be four or five new first-party announcements. Maybe drop that number by one if you don't want to count Metroid Prime 4 as a new announcement, though, like I said, at this point, it's been so long that I would basically count it. <laughs> Also, like I said at the top of the video, there's just a lot of hype going into this direct following Summer Games Fest, which I think for a lot of people was a disappointment. And then the Xbox showcase, because great example being like we didn't see any games announced from Square Enix aside from Life is Strange, which is exciting, sure, but that's not really a game people are looking to Square Enix for. They're looking for, like, that Final Fantasy, that Dragon Quest game, that Visions of Mana, right? We didn't even see that Xbox, which was surprising. We didn't see Hollow Knight Silk Song, which a lot of people were really betting on showing up at the Xbox showcase. So now people are looking to this Nintendo Direct to be like, okay, well, this has to be where we get Square Enix. This has to be where we see Hollow Knight finally. And I think all of those things are very possible, uh, within reason, of course, Square Enix. I'm not expecting the biggest announcements in the world, but Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D certainly seems like a reasonable one. And then Hollow Knight Silk Song, maybe, right? Maybe it's finally time we see that game. There's a lot of pressure on Nintendo considering how, for a lot of people, the previous showcases this summer so far have been relatively disappointing. We're all expecting and anticipating the Switch 2 announcements, but also we know literally nothing of the Switch lineup before the second half of the year. All we have is Luigi's Mansion 2 HD and Nintendo World Championships in July. So like, we really know nothing about the holiday season. There's a lot of pressure to deliver some exciting new games for the Switch this year. Even without the Switch 2 releasing, we need some stuff to play. They need to sell some stuff to get through this holiday season. I'm just curious to see what those things will be, even if they aren't the biggest games in the world. Like I said, I'm expecting one or two things. I don't know. I personally am very excited for this Nintendo Direct. That's coming as someone who loves ports and remakes, though, because when we get stuff like another code or even Mario vs. Donkey Kong, I'm like, oh, that's cool to see that come back in a new way and really get a lot of people to play it for the first time. Something like another code I would have never played realistically if it hadn't been remade. So if we get more stuff like that, that's basically a new game to a lot of people this year. Maybe like, I don't know, like an Eternal Darkness remake or even something like F-Zero GX or like Star Fox Adventures. Like these are games most Nintendo fans haven't played. I'd be okay with that personally. Kid Icarus Uprising would be my most requested port or remake, remaster, whatever, right? That would be almost as exciting to me as a new video game announcement. I gotta be honest. So if we get stuff even close to that caliber, if we get a Metroid Prime 4 trailer or a new Donkey Kong game or some sort of Zelda announcement, be it Wind Waker Twilight Princess, which I'm kind of tired of talking about, or a 2D Zelda game or a multiplayer Zelda game, I don't know, like... I think this direct's going to be pretty good. And if I'm wrong, I mean, so be it. It's not the end of the world. We'll just wait for the next one, right? <laughs> we'll wait for that Switch to reveal. But personally, I'm very excited for this Nintendo Direct. I expect it to be pretty good, especially, like I said, as someone who plays virtually every Nintendo franchise. If you only play Zelda or if you only play Metroid or Mario, maybe it'll be disappointing. But as someone who enjoys the variety that Nintendo offers as a platform holder, I'm pretty excited to see what kind of weird end-of-life Switch games we get. Like, does that mean we get rhythm heaven back finally or some weird new ip or i don't know like tomodachi life that's certainly bigger i think there's a lot of potential for this nintendo direct to have some pretty exciting announcements but i would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below do you think this nintendo direct is being overhyped or do you think the hype is appropriate given where nintendo is at and how much we need to learn about this holiday season for the nintendo switch i would love to get a conversation going down in the comments below of course subscribe here for more nintendo switch news reviews discussions all of that fun stuff i would appreciate it follow me on twitter at botox games and until next time folks 
Peace.